Hi guys, welcome to Parvani Five Color Cafe. It's your chef Parvani. Today, I would like to introduce to you cooking around the world. Myself and my husband Anand, who is also my camera guy, came up with this awesome idea to pick a different country every week and cook a dish from that country. I'm super excited because it's my first time doing this and I will try my best. I love to cook and this super idea came to our head. Why not try cooking around the world? It will be lots of fun. It's a learning experience. Also something new to share with all my subscribers and viewers. First, I will cook a dish from my homeland, beautiful Guyana. Also, while I'm cooking, I will give you a little history about each one of the country I choose. Today, I will be cooking gilbaka curry, fried fillet kuras, fillet butterfish with dal and rice. See you guys in my kitchen. Welcome back to Parvati's kitchen. Today, I will be cooking some gilbaka curry, fried fillet kuras, fillet butterfish, and some dal and rice. Over here I have my dal, which is already washed. And I have my seasoned butterfish with all my green season. And also have my kuras, fillet kuras. And this is my gilbaka here. And these are all the ingredients I'll be using for my gilbaka. I have my tomatoes cut into slices. I have my scallion. I have some green mango. Uh, okra. I have some chopped onion. I also have some grind garlic and pepper and onion. Some masala curry powder and some weary pepper. First I'll go ahead and put my dal to boil. I already have some water which is hot in the pot. So I'll go ahead and put my dal to boil. I'll give it a stir and then I will add some curry powder. The curry powder will give it a little color. You don't want to put too much because it'll look too yellow and it'll be too um, curry-ish. Then I'll go ahead and I'll put some weary pepper. I have two peppers, but you could put as much as you like. So I'll just go ahead and put two because I don't want it to be too spicy. And also have some chopped garlic. So I'll just go ahead and put some of it. And I'll just give this a stir. I will go ahead and add some salt. You could add it as much salt as you like but you don't want to add too much so I'll just go ahead and put some salt and I always you could always taste it later on to see if you have enough or you need to add some more so once everything is in here I'll just go ahead and leave it to boil for a while because the dough you should take a while to boil so I'll just leave it at medium heat because I don't want to put it too high because the dough will not water will burn out so I'll just leave this to cook for a while and boil. My doll is boiling right now so I'll give it a little stir and then I'll go ahead and start cooking my gilbaka curry. I have some oil in my pan already hot so I'll just go ahead and put my onion to fry. I'll leave this for a minute to fry. I turn a little brown. Then I'll go ahead and add my masala, curry powder, pepper, and grind garlic and onion. I have some weary pepper. I have like six weary pepper but you could add as much as pepper as you like actually get a back of curry you have to be really spicy so in here I have every 
Ding, Ding, Ding. I leave it to bungee really good. Now I'll go ahead and add my green mango. My okra. My tomatoes. I'll mix everything up and leave it to bungee really good. This is all my ingredients right here. I'll leave it to fry and bungee really good for a few minutes. Make sure you don't want it to put too much heat because you want everything to slow cook. Because if you have too much heat, it'll burn the masala. I'll leave it to bungee for a few minutes. I also have some hot water on my stove over here. So I'll go ahead and add some into my masala and leave it to bungee. As you can see, everything is cooking and it's bungeeing really good. So I'll leave it to boil for two, three minutes and for it to bungee really good. You have to keep stirring because you don't want the masala to burn. Since I added water, the water will bungee everything and mix everything up together. While this is bungee, I'll go ahead and get my gilbaka ready to add into the bonje masala and all the rest of the ingredients so i'll go ahead and put my gilbaka mm. i'll give it a stir and mix everything up together I wash my gilbaka with flour, lemon juice, salt, and I also scrape it with some hot water to take off the rink. I'll just leave everything to bungee really, really good, and then I'll add the rest of the water to boil everything up. Now I'll go ahead and check on my gilbaka curry. It's already bungeeing up. I leave it for a few minutes to bungee. As you can see here, it's really bungeeing up really good. So I'll just go ahead and add some water and leave it to boil. I have some hot water in a pot here. So I'll add some. And I will give it a stir. And then I'll cover it and leave it to boil. I'll go ahead and also add my salt to taste. You could just add a little bit and you can always taste it while it's cooking or at the end to make sure you have enough salt. I sprinkle a good amount. So I'll just cover this and leave it to boil. Boil and cook and I'll go ahead and 
check on my doll to make sure everything is good. It's boiling really good. So I'll give it a stir and uh, I will also leave this to boil. So while my doll and my curry egg gilbaka is cooking, I'll go ahead and give you guys a little history about Guyana. Guyana is located in the northeastern corner of South America. They became independent of the United Kingdom on 26th of May 1966. Because of its numerous river, creeks, and stream, it is also called the land of many waters. Guyana major river rivers are the Barbies, the Amarara, and Estuary River River. There is um, also a lot of sightseeing. If, whenever you visit Guyana, there is places you could go to visit. There's also the beautiful Kaito Fall. There is the St. George Cathedral. There is lots of wildlife. There is also the zoo and the beautiful botanical garden. And there's other places um, in Guyana that you could visit. They have a lot of um, uh, rivers and beach and resorts that you can go and visit. And also a lot of hotels where you can stay. And for all the tourists, uh, people, if you're interested in visit, visiting Guyana, you could also go on Google and you will find a lot of um, places in Guyana that you can visit and have a great time. Okay guys, my doll is still boiling. So I'll go ahead and check on my gilbaka curry. It's actually finished. So I'll go ahead and turn the stove off. As you can see, the okra is still whole. Also have my green mango. And uh, here is a um, piece of the gilbaka fish. And you could see all the ingredients. I still have my sliced tomato still boiled and it's still whole so this is finished so I'll just go ahead and turn the stove off and I'll go ahead and start frying my fillet butterfish I will now go ahead and put my fillet butterfish to fry I already put three so I'll go ahead and add some more I'm actually battering it with some seasoned flour I add some sazon some paprika pepper and black pepper to my flour I'm actually doing this because I don't want it to stick on my pan and it could fry really properly and crispy so I'll just go ahead and add another one and leave it to fry and I also season my fish with all my green seasoning, my marinman, my broadleaf thyme, parsley, cilantro, um, scallions, and I also season it with some grind garlic, pepper, and onion, some fish, fish season, chef fish season, and I add some flour, some curry powder, some baking powder. So all those are on my season that I season my fish with. As you can see, it's frying here right now. And you have to constantly keep turning, turning it because you don't want it to burn. So I'll go ahead and give it a stir. You can see it's really crispy because of the flour. It's not, um, it's not soft and it's not pasted in the pan. You want to give it too much heat because you will burn the fish. You just want to give it like a medium heat so it can fry really brown and crispy. So I'll leave it to fry for a few minutes. Uh, one set of my fillet butterfish is finished so I'll go ahead and take take out the next set which is all which is finished so I'll go ahead and put it in my place you can see it's really crispy and it's fry really properly and it's not burned it have that brown crunchy crispy 
on the top and um, this is uh, the fillet butterfish is really good because um, there's no bone so this could, this can make a really good um, fish sandwich and with your fish sandwich you could add some lettuce tomato cucumber and uh, some mayo or whatever you prefer that you make your sandwich I'm sure it will taste delicious so this is all my fillet butterfish fried it's right here and I'll go ahead and fry my fried caress I'm not sure if anyone ever done this before but um this is my first time doing it and it's um fillet caress so I'll just go ahead and get this started frying now I'll go ahead and continue frying my fillet caress so I'm adding some more so here is it guys I have all my fillet caress frying it's actually my first time doing it so I hope it comes out really good I'm not sure if anyone ever done it but if you do you can always drop a comment or you can always send me a picture. So I'll just leave this for fry and I'll go ahead and check on my doll. Actually, my doll is almost finished. So I'll just go ahead and uh, use my gluttony to go to my doll. Actually, my mom bought this from Guyana years ago and we still have it. So this is what we used to um, go to our doll, like this said in Guyana. So I'll just go ahead and go to my doll this actually makes the doll um you break it up so it doesn't be whole you actually match it up really fine so it keeps it it's not it's not going to be whole so i'll go ahead and give it a little stir all around and uh, in a few minutes they will finish and then i'll go ahead and help in my doll I will go ahead and take out my last set of fillet caress. There you go, this is all my fillet caress that was fried. And this is my last set. So I'll go ahead and take this off. And uh, I'll turn my stove off and then I'll go ahead and uh, chalk in my doll because my doll is finished boiling. Here you go. Have one more. Here you go. Okay, that's how my fillet caress looks like after it's finished frying. I will go ahead and turn my stove off. And uh, on the other side, I have some oil with some garlic chopped really fine with my jeera is getting hot so i'll leave this to um to get hot in, inside my dabu so i'll just go ahead and um turn my doll and make sure it's boiled properly it's actually finished so i'll just go ahead and slow the heat a little bit because i don't want to leave the heat too high because it will dry down my doll Okay, my garlic, everything is still frying up. You have to leave it for a minute or two to fry to get brown. I'll just raise the heat up a little bit so it could fry really quick. You actually have to get brown. It probably take like a minute or two. See my jira and uh, garlic is frying. I'll go ahead and check. Here's my doll. You can see it's everything is boiled. There's not even one, and my pepper is mix with my doll
what is everyone is having for dinner guys you could um try the fillet caras if you never have it before it's really good i know a lot of people cook um curry caras but um i never tried the fillet caras so it's something new so if you want to give it a try you can give it a try and um maybe you like it I'm almost um, finishing up here with my garlic and jeera. So I'll turn the stove off and I'll head over to my pot to chalk in my doll. Woo. There you go guys. Here's my doll. It's chow here really good. I have my jira inside. And it's not too thick or too thin. So now I'll go ahead and I already finished cooking my doll. I already fried my fillet butterfish and my fillet caras. So now I'll go ahead and um, put my rice to ball, my um, Guyana brown rice. I already add my rice to my hot water, so I'll cover it and leave it to boil. I'll cover it, but not fully cover. I'll leave a little bit out because it will flow over if I cover it completely. So while this is boiling, I will go ahead and tell you a little bit about myself. My home song is uh, number 64 village. That's where I was born and grew up until I reside to the United States of America with my family. Where I live back home, there's a, there's a lot of beautiful and fun things to do, especially I actually live near to the number 63 beach. So that beach is a famous beach. And during the holiday time, especially Easter, there's a lot of people from Georgetown and all over that drive and come down to the beach and celebrate Easter. They will fly their kai, they will come and have a barbecue and get together and they will spend the whole day at the beach and have fun. A lot of people will come with their music set and they will play loud music and dance and have a great time. Also, where I'm from, there is um, the Skeleton Market. I'm sure a lot of people who's from um, 64 Village or close by to the other village, they would know the famous um, Skeleton Market. That's where we normally go every Saturday to buy our grocery. And we will normally take the, um, the minibus or the top beer and we will go to the market. And um, also there's um, the Crab Creek, the Marston Stellan. That's where you could take the ferry boat that will take you over to um, Suriname. So if you ever you want to take a trip to Suriname, you just have to go to um, Crab Creek, Marcelin Mar Stellan, and you will take the, um, the ferry boat from there to um, Suriname. And um, also um, at the beach, when we go at the beach, we normally play, play rounders, hopscotch, crickets, and um, there's a lot of other um, games. As, um, as a child growing up, we would go to the beach and we would play. And um, I remember um, the wara seed. We normally want to eat wara, we just take the seed and we just play kick seed. <laughs> and we would also, um, we would take the marble and we would play um, marble with it and tag. So those are the, there's the fun things during my childhood in Guyana. And um, you can also share your childhood experience in Guyana. You can also comment on um, on the bottom of my page. You can also send pictures of video. I'm really glad to um, hear about your childhood experience in Guyana. And um, those are mine. And I had so much fun when I was back home in Guyana. And even now when I go, I look forward to do um, a lot of stuff that um, I used to do during my childhood. Well, I finished cooking my rice, guys, and here is my rice. I also have everything else that I cooked. Here is my gilbak curry. You can see this is the meat part and also have the head. And here is my okra. And um, my mango is here. So that's my gilbak curry. And also have my fillet butterfish over here. And uh, my fillet caras and also have some ketchup with pepper sauce that goes with it. And uh, here is my plate. 
that I took out. I have some rice and uh, I have my mango, my gelbaka is my okra. I have some red juicy tomatoes, I have my pepper. And um, this is everything. I also have my doll. I forgot my doll. Here's my doll. I'll give it a stir so you could see how it's cooked really good. It's not too thin or not too thick. That's my doll. Thank you for watching Cooking Around the World. Please check out my next video on what country I will choose next and what I will be cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys next week.